Welcome back to another week of Popping Caps here at Townline Fine Wine Spirits and Beer. I am Begley. This is Steve from Townline. And we did all ball brews last week with our bombers. And this week, we're going to do classic brews. So these are things that are highly rated, some of the best beers that you'll taste. And we're going to kick it off with the Saison DuPont. Yep. Did I say that right? You did. All you right. Did. Tell us about it. All right. So uh, this is this is kind of the Saison by which all other Saisons are judged. Mm -hmm. uh, it is a traditional uh, Belgian style. You're going to get a lot of that Belgian yeast character to it. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, this is this really is kind of one of those defining. All all of these this week are all going to be um, kind of beers that define a style. Great. Um, so they they're all highly rated, highly sought after. People kind of talk about them in terms of you know when you have something else, you talk about is it as good as one right. of these kind of. And things. these are type of things that if you want to look like cool to your friends or like you know about beers, yeah. like this is the, the the perfect ones to get. Yeah. So here, let's get the let's uh, try it. Let's get the saison. Let's going. get the fancy cap there too. That's right. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> and up it goes. <laughs> See, popping caps. That one actually popped. That's right. And this one, you got to be a little careful because there's still sediment in the bottle. Yeah. It's a bottle aged beer, so. Does that just mean like. It's like, um, pulp, like pulp almost? It's the it's the yeast, really. Oh, okay. And that's, that's why it pops as much as it does. Oh. So, yeah. Hmm. So you get it. It's a little bit foggy, not too yeah. bad. Uh, nice golden color. And. So what? So the saison style, like yep. what? How does it? Why is it different from? Tradi the other? Traditionally, it's the style that they made in the winter. Um, the farmers made in the winter with mm -hmm. kind of whatever was left, and they would make it as a, a stronger style to kind of get them through. Okay. And uh, you know, it, it's a style that kind of dropped off a lot. Mm -hmm. It's come back in various incarnations. It's it's a little bit lighter style when a lot of people make it now. It's much more wheat based. Yeah. Uh, when a lot of people make it now, this one is still this this still has some oomph to it. You definitely get that Belgian yeast to it. Totally. A little bit of tartness to it. Um, so people who like Belgian beers, like this is people right up like their Belgian alley. beers. This is going to be one of those styles of Belgian beer that like if you like Belgian beers, this is something you either have had or you want to or you want to have yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right awesome so tomorrow we're going to feature i don't even know how to say that <laughs> uh amagang <laughs> amagang yeah the amagang abbey ale we're going to feature that tomorrow so tune in for the next episode of popping caps here at Townline fine wine spirits and beer in stratford